Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be showcasing my new LEGO Purist Customs based off some Iron Man armor, specifically from Iron Man 3. So let's begin. So first up, we have Mark 34, AKA Southpaw. And you know, he's called Southpaw because he has his claw in his left hand, obviously. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool name though. And I think, I think I translated this to Lego quite well. Um, I think, you know, most of them should be black. Like, like he's like the suit is pretty much black and silver, but honestly, I didn't really have enough pieces, like spare, like armored black pieces to really make him that, especially, you know, with like a helmet and all that. So yeah, it's just mostly gray and silver, which I still think, you know, it's obvious that it's the real Southpaw and yeah, um, I don't really think it's that much of a problem that it's not really black. So I did use War Machine's helmet from the 2013 Iron Man 3 sets. And then for the torso, I think it's like, I think it's like from an Indiana Jones set, I believe. I could be wrong about that. And I think the legs are from like a space theme or something. I'm sorry, dumb. I don't really know who these pieces are from. I mean, they're, they're from what I'm saying they're from, but I don't know the specific sets or name of the themes you know so yeah and then we got this nice little piece over here kind of like a little you know this piece mainly goes on the back of lego minifigures but i think it serves well in the front considering um southpaw is very bulky like up top so yeah and i still think he could be a bit bulky like if i had more pieces and all that to make him more accurate i definitely would like yeah it's, it's a pretty freaking bulky armor so I, I still think this fits very well though. You know, we got the nice arc reactor right here, a unibeam. And then we got the main attraction, it's claw. I, I'm pretty happy with it. It's the best I could have done of the pieces that I have. And I think it definitely fits. Like I'd say it's pretty accurate. And then on the back, nothing too special, you know? And then there, there isn't a Tony Stark head here, by the way, it's just, I think this is like from an Age of Ultron set. Like it was part of like the Lego Iron Legions figures so i just used it for this head because why not you know i, I can't replace tony stark's head with like another person's head you know but yeah pretty pretty happy with this guy and then next up we have mark 35 pretty much like the perfected version of mark 34 red snapper he was in iron man 3 for i mean not that long but he was in the final battle so Having him as a minifigure now, or at least making him as a minifigure, is pretty cool in my opinion, you know? He has his two claws right here. Um, I, I wish I had more of these, like, pieces, except they were red. Like, I don't mind these being gray, but, you know, these definitely should be red. But still, I, th I think it's fine. And, yeah, pretty much this entire suit, it's just my extra Mark 30, not, not 30, Mark 43 figure. Except I just added some stuff to him, so, yeah, but... You know, of course I had to use this for him. Like, I think with the armor, it does look quite a bit like Red Snapper suit, you know? And yeah, sorry, we have these two back pieces right here. I added one on the back because like Southpaw, uh, Red Snapper is very bulky. So like if I had an extra piece like this, I'd probably add it to Southpaw, but I don't right now, so yeah. But still, I think it definitely adds to the armor. Like, I wouldn't want this front piece just be, like, really bulky. And then on the back, it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I feel, like, out of place, in my opinion. But, yeah. And I'm pretty happy with the helmet, too. It's not too accurate to um, Red Snapper. Like, I think a better helmet would be the, like, Mark 45 one or a freaking Heartbreaker one. But I don't have an extra one of these. So, yeah. But, yeah. Pretty happy with him. I think I did an okay job with this guy. And yeah, here we have them both. Um, I, I, I'm a pretty big fan of these armors. Like I'd probably put Red Snapper in my top 10, to be honest, maybe, maybe top 15, but still. Red Snapper is a freaking awesome armor. So is freaking uh, Southpaw, you know, yeah. I mean, these armors, they were, fun fact, by the way, these armors were not really made for combat. They were made for like, you know, disaster rescues, like, if Tony wants to rescue some people from hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, all those natural disasters and bad weather, uh, like these claws are supposed to be for lifting up debris and all that, and they do increase his strength by quite a bit, so he's able to perform those tasks. But yeah, 
I mean, they have the basic Iron Man weapons, but they are not specifically made for combat. So I thought, I thought that, I thought that was pretty cool. And Red Snapper, it's kind of like the perfected version of Southpaw because it has an extra claw. So yeah, I thought that was some pretty cool Iron Man trivia for you. And yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with these guys. I think I'm gonna build like two more slots so I could fit them in my Hall of Armor. Because, I mean, why not keep them like this? I don't really need to take them apart or anything like that. So yeah, that's a better for these guys. I had a great time making them. Hopefully, I'll make some more. I do wanna make Striker, um, which is another Iron Man armor. And I, I really love that armor. It's definitely in my top 10 list, but yeah, I might do that sometime. So that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Tell me what you think about these customs. Are, are they great? Are they complete garbage? Tell me down below. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. And yeah, all that said, Hobo525 out.